Hey everybody! Oh, crud, 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 guys! I'm sorry, crud, 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 crud. Yes, Why yes, yes. Uh, I forgot to put, turn on my camera. <laughs> as y'all know, as y'all could obviously tell, I'm back. I'm ready, and I am, and I have a partner here. Uh, Hi. Hey, all right, guys. See what we're doing? As y'all can tell by the title, the top five Pokemon Ash released. Now, the fun part is, one of these is going to throw y'all off. Ain't it, Ellie? It is, it really is. Alright, now, if y'all think there was any Pokemon that should have been on this list, other than Charizard, we, we, you know, we thought about Charizard, but, sorry, didn't make it. Anyways, uh, then let us know, let us know, uh, well, you can yell at me. I, I did this one. Uh, we did this together, but I miss. But you know, yell at me, not her. I'm good. We're good. Uh. All right, guys. Uh, you want to do number five, or do you want me to? Um, I guess I can do number five. Number five is Lapras. Um, Lapras. He called. Um, it was being mistreated by some pirates, so he called. Called it. And um. Well, he released it when they found his family, but at first the family didn't want it back, so they finally got to give, got to give it back. But it was sad to me because, um, uh, yeah, it was just really sad for me. I, I like Lifeless, so that's it for me. <laughs> Another reason it kind of deserved it, I mean, yes, I was one of the people who was like, it wasn't too huge of a loss because he really didn't battle with it. But yeah, but he it. did like three from the Orange League. Did like three. Anyways, Lapras was a baby when it was getting mistreated. I don't know how many of y'all remember that, but it was a baby getting mistreated. And he had returned it back with its mother. And so that was kind of that was kind of heartwarming at the same time sad. So, you know, it just kinda of deserved it kinda of deserved to be on this list. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Alright. For next, we got Pikachu. Before any of you holler, he never released Pikachu. What are you talking about? He did for like five minutes. I mean, he did for like five minutes. Uh, he was there was a, I think it was a thing of Pikachu. It was either a thing of Pikachu or Raichu, but he was believing that uh, Pikachu would be way off better off without him with there with the Pikachu and the Raichu and all them, and uh, he was releasing it. And although it Although, as y'all could obviously tell if you've seen past there, that he didn't release Pikachu, but that's because Pikachu was like, Pika, 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 no, 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 no. What you doing? No. And so he uh, kind of ran back over to Ash. I mean, yeah, he didn't successfully release it, but he did try to, and he did for like five minutes, like I said, give or take. No, Pikachu even refused to evolve into Raichu after they lost to Lieutenant Surge. It was like, here, you want to evolve? No! 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 Yeah, so... Um, Pikachu is a good contender for number four because of the fact that it was only five minutes, but still. It, it was sad because you're sitting there thinking that his best friend forever was leaving, you know? Oh, yeah, because I remember crying on this episode, um, mainly for the fact he's had him since the beginning, and this is his first Pokemon. I'm like, who would do that? But anyway. <laughs> yeah, I get it. All right, for number four, she gets this one. Um, I, I this mean, is Pidgeot. Um, Pidgeot was uh, actually evolved from Pidgeotto when... It was protecting Ash from the Fero, um, which obviously was from the beginning and had evolved from Fero um, after Ash threw a rock at it. And Ash actually released it to protect the Pidgeys and to lead them on their way. So that was the story behind Pidgeot. 
It, yeah, I, that was actually a huge reason it was here. It was just so heartwarming that a Pokemon he's had, that the second Pokemon he ever caught was protecting him against the Fero, and it was just, when he had to leave, it was like, no! <laughs> Alright. For number two, however, guys, we have Greninja. This was arguably his best Pokemon. There, there is a reason I said arguably. Everyone knows there's a reason I said arguably. But the fact that he that he had Grin uh, the Froakie had followed him, he was like, "All right, well, I'm not getting a starter here. Oh well." And then the Froakie follows him, and follows, and follows until he realized it was following him. <laughs> and then he ended up catching it, and they ended up getting such a big bond that he was able to do battle. That uh, he was able to go into Ash Greninja, which yes is the battle bond uh, ability, but in the show it's different than the game, unfortunately. You got anything to add to that, Ellie, or are we good? Uh, we're good on that one. All right. As most predicted, number one. The Butterfree. There is a good reason behind this one being number one. Bye Bye Butterfree was uh, the worst episode ever. What did you say? Bye Bye Butterfree was the worst episode ever. Yes, it was. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Uh, I got it. It was the worst, because this was actually the first Pokemon Ash ever caught. He had a special bond with it, and when it left, it was actually really sad. Um, in fact, he actually tried to trade it on the SS and to another guy for Eradicate, but ended up going back for it. So Yeah, he, he was like, to... sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. Yeah, he, uh, when he was going to trade it, it was because, you know, he's like, man, this doesn't, it's just, it was simple. He, he was overwhelmed by all the Pokemon, but then he was like, yeah, I can't go through with this. And then, not to mention, like she said, it left. Which, if you guys can tell me what the flip was up with that pink butterfly, Butterfree, please tell me. It was not a shiny, the shinies are green. I don't know what that thing was. Just let me know if y'all know. Anyways, back to the cons the point here. <laughs> It was uh, just so weird that it was It was just upsetting because, it, like she said, it was his first ever Pokemon. It evolved faster than normal for him. He just, that thing was not going to give up while he was with Ash. Ash had that Butterfree, and he put in more work than a lot of the Pokemon he's had. Uh, I had done a study on it. I had done a study and looked everything up. Butterfree has, has the fourth largest win-loss record all the way through. Not counting Sun, uh, Sun and Moon. I don't care for Sun and Moon. I mean, the anime itself. The anime just kind of went downhill after that, in my opinion. Y'all can yell at me. Yell at me. Not much I can do there. But uh, he was just... It was there. It was always there for him. And if they were to bring him back, you have no idea how many fans would be happy. I know I would. Right? All right, guys. Um, actually, I think that might be it. There's nothing else here. And again, honorable mention, Charizard. It was upsetting that he had to leave. He had finally started listening to Ash, but again, he was a douche. He was a douche. Yeah, he 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 was mainly a pain the entire time he was there. From the time he evolved into Charmeleon to the time he evolved into Charizard. So. Yeah, yeah, he was just a douche. It was simp. It wasn't all that great. I mean. Think about it like this. Charizard and Charmeleon did not listen to him. He got seven badges, so unless Charizard was a level 100, he should have listened. And then after he beat Blaine even. So, you know, he should have listened. He didn't. And costed Ash the league. Because he was he was in the finals, he was going to win, so he sent out Charizard to win the battle, and he flew off to go to sleep. Uh, yeah. He was a douche. Yeah. That's why he's not in the running. <laughs> <laughs> right. Alright, guys. Uh, I think that's going to be it for right now. And uh, there, I'm not going to be able to do Crystal for those that wondered because for a little while. The screen is getting annoying. It never ended from like that. So, you know, I'll still probably be doing top fives and top tens. Anyways, I will see y'all in the, I will see y'all later. Make sure to leave a like. Peace!